Welcome to Fluke Friday, episode four. Uh, today we're going to go over the 378 FC and some of the features. I was showing you uh, just a quick flyover of the demo rig, uh, demo box that we're using to simulate the voltage so that we can take some measurements during this video. So here I'm doing an unboxing and you can see Comes with a really nice case. This little like bungee system is a new system from Fluke uh, to hold your meter in. You can put accessories or whatever else in there as well. Um, you can see my case is a mess with my test leads, but here we are. We've got some test probes, the TL-175s, or TP-175s, I should say, which are connected to these uh, premium test leads. They are silicone test leads, which mean they're more flexible than the basic set of test leads, and they've got longer uh, strain reliefs on them and uh, well worth it. The TP-175s and the TL-175s both have these twist guards, um, which is really nice so that you have that added protection um, in the high voltage world. You can see as you twist them, they change category ratings because Cat 3 and Cat 4 rated test leads can only have four millimeters of metal exposed. Now this is the alligator clip that comes with the 378. And this is for connecting your common lead to a ground source um, when you are using field sense so that it can accurately measure voltage through the sensors. This right here is an iFlex. It's a flexible CT that comes with a meter and will measure AC current up to 2,500 amps. The jaws of this um, 378 will do AC or DC current up to 1,000 amps. On their own. Now we're going to kind of go through the dial. You can see starts off with AC voltage. I just held the function key down there for two seconds and turned on the backlit screen. Then we're going to go to the next feature which is DC voltage. You can see the units change in the lower left. If you hit the function key you go to the yellow uh, symbol or letters on the screen. You can see here we went from resistance or continuity over to capacitance. Um, then we move on to field sense. This is um, the new technology that has the ability to measure AC current and AC voltage at the same time. Now DC current with zeroing it out and then flipping over to the iFlex, which you saw in the case. It just plugs into the bottom here and that's what that little funky connection is for, is the iFlex setting. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show how you, or what I'm going to show is how you connect and get your AC voltage. So I'm just clamping around one of those wires coming off my demo box and getting 220 some volts AC. Obviously we don't have any load on it, so you didn't see any current. So now we are going to put a load on it. We're going to clamp around this PQ board on one of the faces. You can see AC current reading, and what I'm trying to show here is the power quality side of the 378 where it's going to give you a power quality indication that hey you've got a power quality problem with amps in this case if you had a voltage it would tell you the voltage as well it's with this board though i can only simulate power quality problems with amps now this is a view that's closer up so you can see this power quality indication as it turns on you can see it says pq amps um, again i'm just messing with the demo board giving it poor power quality so that you guys can see this for demo purposes. Next, what we're going to do is show you the FC version of this um, 378 FC. We're open up the Android phone. Um, it also works with the iPhone. Um, just Fluke Connect from either of those stores. Open up, turn on with that clear button, click the FC, turn on the Bluetooth radio, and now you are connected. So what you can see here is it's prompting me to update the firmware. Um, you can just hit cancel if you don't want to update it, or you can choose to update it. Um, but it's not going to update your screen on your phone until you hit cancel. As you can see, after I hit cancel, now it's showing the live readings from the clamp meter on the iPhone, or in this case, Android phone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do three phase measurement. I have to hold that middle button down, that min max button down, till it turns on the L1, L2, L3. You clamp around, the screen's going to turn green, you're going to hear a beep, and then you're going to move to the next leg um, as you go through. 
the advantage of doing this connected to the phone is you're going to see all of your readings. You're going to see leg one, leg two, leg three, voltage to neutral potential, as well as leg to leg neutral, which you see there. And it's going to give us phase rotation, which you see in that arrow that kind of arcs over um, in the clockwise direction. It says one, two, three. I'll do this a second time, and I will change the order in which I measure the three phases, and you will see the arc of the phase rotation will then point counterclockwise, showing you the phase rotation. So this is a way that you guys can measure phase rotation without making physical connections um, to energized circuits. And note that all of these connections are being made um, and measurements are being made without clamping on to an energized circuit. The only wire that's connected to the clamp meter is my common lead, and that is connected to earth ground, not to an energized circuit. So if you do need in your facility to take measurements without connecting to energized circuits, that will um, this meter will allow you to do that. Thanks for sticking with me for episode four of Fluke Fridays. Hope you enjoyed this 378 overview. I will be posting some other videos talking about how you upgrade your firmware on the 378 as well as how you can do logging on this 378 FC and uh, hope that that really helps you guys in the future. So look for those videos coming soon. Take care.